of one should not uh, equal to half two. So what we can conclude here: the given function not satisfying the third condition of Rolle's theorem, we cannot verify. That's all. Third question. Third question: minus five to five. R is differentiable function, and if f dash of x does not vanish, does not vanish, nothing but f dash of x should not equal to zero anywhere. Then prove that f of minus five not equal to f of minus five. Okay, clear, student. So here yeah, the function is not at all given. Function not given, but clearly they given f from minus five to five. The given interval is minus five to five. So differentiable. The given clearly it is differentiable. I will write here clearly the steps. All steps are very easy. F is defined from where to where? Minus phi to phi to r. Okay. So what shall we write here then? Uh, finally. This let f of x be the function is differentiable in open interval phi to phi. So clearly, in the question itself, the differentiable is given. Is every differentiable function is continuous or not, student? Is every differentiable function uh, Continuous or not? Yes. Yeah. Can I write the first condition also satisfied or not? Every differentiable function always continues. Already they given differentiable. So since you have to write here since every differentiable function. Is always continuous. Okay, continuous. So what we can conclude here? So f of x is continuous. Close interval minus phi to phi. Second point is that f of x is differentiable in open interval phi comma phi. But is there f of a is equal to f of b? Is there they mention anything here? Yes, students. So f dash of c not vanishes nothing but f dash of x not equal to zero. This what what theorem? F dash of x is equal to zero at certain point. Then we can say this is rolless. But clearly, question they given f dash of x does not vanish. Nothing but f dash of x should not equal to zero at any value of x. Nothing but here we can apply Rolle's theorem or Lagrange's theorem. Yes. Rolle's. Yeah. So we can draw it. Therefore, ah uh, yes. Therefore, by which theorem? By mean value theorem or Lagrange's mean value theorem. Yeah. Strings. What we can write? There, they, there exist at least one point. At least one point. At least one point. C in open interval minus phi comma phi such that f dash of C should not equal to zero. What is f dash of C? Rolle is a Lagrange is. F dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a by a. I have given here. See, f dash of c value is f of b minus f of a by b minus a. So, f dash of x also you can take as like a uh, here f of b minus f of a by B minus A should not equal to zero. What is A and B? Am I? What is given interval here? Minus phi to phi. A value becomes minus phi. 
B value becomes plus plus substitute. That implies f of five minus f of minus five by five minus of minus five should not equal zero. This denominator will be ten. You can cross multiply. So f of five minus f of minus five should not equal to zero into ten. If I cross multiply zero into ten, that is equal to zero. Okay, five plus five ten. I cross multiplied here. So finally, f of five, uh, f of five minus f of minus five, we got as not equal to zero. Then therefore, which implies f of five should not equal to f of minus five. So what I have done here clearly they are given differentiable. Every differentiable is always continuous, so that first condition, second condition is satisfies. And in the question itself, clearly they are given f dash of x vanishes, not vanishes. So we sh uh, we should not apply rules. We can apply the Lagrangians. So uh, there exists a point C such that f dash of C not equal to zero. So f of b minus f of a by b minus a is the uh, value of f dash of C here. Not equal to zero. I substituted a and b value. Finally, we got directly whatever they asked. Me. See, we proved here if f of minus phi not equal to f of phi. F of phi not equal to f of phi. F of minus phi. And it's proved or not? Yes, we proved here. Any doubts in that question? Can you show the question, sir? You want question or answer? Okay, sir. I'm using Lagrange's mean value theorem for the sum. Question number four: Verify mean value theorem. Sir, uh, what is the question? Clearly mentioned mean value theorem. So the question which is related to Uh, Lagrange's mean value theorem, not Rolle's. So here, no need to check third condition actually. But anyhow, the function is given x square minus 4x minus 3. The part x is equal to x square minus 4x minus 3. And here in the question, what is the interval a comma b value? And The interval a comma b is equal to one comma four. But I am going to write all the function. So uh, clearly, what about clear? Uh, so here only can write this letter. You can write here. Uh, f of x is given. No, find f dash of x. Two x minus four. Here four into x, not uh, four four x. Four x two x minus four. Uh, let's take the question. Clearly, same. Uh, f of x is a polynomial. I told you clearly every polynomial. Polynomial. Then, the first point is f of x is continuous. Uh, in closed interval, one comma four. Second point is f of x is differentiable. In open interval, one comma four. Okay, ma'am. Then we can apply the Lagrange theorem. Then there exists a point C belongs to. Uh, There exists a point. At least one point C is belongs to open interval one comma four, such that just write the formula. Formula is very important. What is f dash of C? F of b minus f of a by b minus a. So f dash of C is clearly equal to what is f of b? F of four minus f of one by four minus one. Yeah, all of you find f of four and f of one value with the help of equation one. 
Yes, friend. F of x is given here. What is the f of x is given? X square plus four x minus three. Yeah? Minus four x minus three. Minus four x. Right. With the help of this, so which implies what is f of four? Am? All of you find yourself. F of four and f of one. And f dash of c. Already we found f dash of x here. F dash of x is clearly two x minus four. Then in, in place of x, uh, substitute c. Then f dash of c is LHS is two c minus four. Right side is f of four value students. Four square minus four into four. I think minus three. Am I right? One minus three minus six. Is it right, students? F of four is sixteen minus sixteen. Zero minus three is nine. So f of four value is minus three. Minus of f of one value is minus six by four minus one is three. I substituted these values here. Then here minus two minus here. So it is clearly equal to um, minus three plus six by three. That is equal to three by three. That is equal to one. Two c minus four is equal to one, but two c is equal to uh, one plus four. C is equal to five by two. Five by two is equal to two point five. Is two point five is belongs to given interval one to four. The interval is one to four, but the open interval clearly two point five is belongs to one to four. Therefore, what about the Lagrange's theorem? Verified or not? Yes. Sir. Yeah, it's verified. Hence, mean value theorem verified. That's all. Simple. What I have done here. Clearly, given function is a polynomial. It is continuous and differentiable everywhere, so that everyone uh, return first two condition. Then you have to write that condition. Then there exists a point, at least one point C in open interval, such that f dash of C is equal to f of B minus f of B by G minus A. Okay, and uh, f dash of C is equal to B value, A value. You can substitute over here. So find f of four value, f of one value, and substitute here. Finally, we got C value. C value is five by two. Five by two is two point five plus, which is clearly belongs to the given interval. So verify. Any doubts? Next question. Verify the mean value theorem. Uh, Find all C. Nothing but same procedure. Same procedure you can do. So, uh, like both will be same kind. Just function is given different, and B values are given different. B value or they given different. Instead of four, they given three. You can do the same procedure. Is it clear? Fifth one you can do like fourth one. Let us go for the last question. Examine the applicability of mean value theorem for all three functions given in the above. Okay, mean value theorem means like uh, exercise. Exercise two now. Mean value theorem is Lagrange's mean value theorem. We need to verify. Okay, for all for all three function given in the above exercise. Two. Question number two. They ask me. Am I right? In this exercise, there are three subdivisions are there. In each subdivision, we have to check the. Here we verified Rolle's theorem. In the same way, they are asking to verify. Lagrange's Lagrange's role is same steps. 
no change at all because it is the greatest integer greatest integer it is not continuous greatest integer it is not differentiable already we have written same steps you can write here but you know third point is f of x is equal to x square minus 1 clearly it is not differentiable sorry it is differentiable and it continues but in that case rolle's theorem is fail but lagrange's theorem is applicable here f of x is equal to second question third subdivision f of x value is so can you scroll it please sir okay sir okay third subdivision and second question clear it is uh, continuous and differentiable you can write it and coming to what is the interval 1 to 2 functions interval is 1 comma 2 i i want to find f of 1 value f of 1 value is 1 square minus 1 is 0 f of 2 value is 2 square minus 1 that is equal to 4 minus 1 that is equal to 3 okay so clearly given function is continuous and differentiable <clears throat> by mean value theorem then by mean value theorem when the function is continuous and differentiable then with the and also here f of 1 not equal to f of 2 okay it satisfy all condition of uh, lagrange's theorem then there exists a point c in open interval a comma b such that f dash of c here also say uh, clearly Yeah, f of x is continuous, low interval one comma two, differentiable, low interval one comma two, and f of one not equal to f of two. Then there exists a point c in open interval one comma two such that f dash of c should be equal to what? It, see here, f of one not equal to f of two. We should not apply rules. Lagrange's f of two minus f of one by two minus one. So what is uh, f dash of c value, students? F dash of c nothing but given function we can differentiate. F dash of x is equal to two x alone we got. So left side is two c is equal to right side is. F of two value is clearly three minus zero by two minus one. Three by one that is equal to three. So two c is equal to three. C is equal to three by two. Three by two means one point five. Is it belongs to open interval one to two? Yes, friends. Is it belongs to open interval one to two? One point five. Hence, the theorem is verified or not? Yes, verified. Any doubt, Amma? Yes. Therefore, what we have to write here? Therefore. Mean value theorem. There exists at least one point C, which is C R uh, is equal to one point five, which is belongs to open interval uh, one to two, such that f dash of one point five is equal to zero. Or else, simply you can get an S. F dash of c is equal to zero. Oh, no, f dash of c is equal to zero. F of two minus f of one by two minus one. Hence, mean value theorem verified. Hence, mean value theorem is verified. That's all. So miscellaneous exercise.